Hi there, it's Ms. Pritzel and I'm the Library Media Specialist at Appleton West High School and I'm talking about some of the new books we have in the library. So it's the end of uh, September, beginning of October and this is a book that came in this summer and I've been waiting for it to be all processed and ready for our library. So Alan Gratz, who is going to be one of the Fox Cities Reads author in October, um, this is his book on Ground Zero, and he tells in his note that he was still he was teaching eighth grade uh, students when this happened. So here's what's fascinating about this is historical fiction for all the students who read it. Uh, it is going to be uh, contemporary. It's not historical for most of the teachers and adults who are reading it because if you were alive to remember it, it is not historical fiction. So historical fiction is defined by the uh, reader's experience, not by the author or uh, time frame necessarily. So um, this is Ground Zero is about September 11th and as in many of his stories, Alan Gratz takes two different, um, there's two different storylines going on. There's one set in Afghanistan uh, and a soldier and a girl uh, who is from Afghanistan and then there's the experiences, of, I think his name is Brendan. Uh, he's in the towers and his father is like working on the top top floor uh, but he goes down uh, for something and is coming back up when things happen. For me this was kind of an emotional read because I remember where I was and, and that day so clearly and everything that happened. So uh, uh, there we just celebrated the I don't know if celebrates the right word, but we just had the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. And like I said, for me, this there were certain things I had, you know, you think you remember everything, but there were certain things like, oh, I forgot about that. Um, or I didn't realize that, or I didn't know that. So once again, Alan Gratz, he, I would say he's done for historical fiction what J.K. Rowling did for uh, fantasy fiction and Rick Riordan did for mythology. So. Um, I think he's made historical fiction very interesting for uh, students and adults. I hope you check this one out. Bye.